Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah man, alright. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the weapon wheel and the type of weapons that you should keep in your weapon wheel while playing GTA 5 online. Kind of going over what I use and recommending the type of weapons you guys should be using on a daily basis because there's a lot of them. And this loadout that I keep with my weapon wheel, it's great for money grinders. It'll also help out PvP players as well. All right, in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think about my weapon wheel loadout and then talk to me about what you guys use, the type of weapons you guys keep in your weapon wheel, all right? Be sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you guys don't miss out any future videos like this, live streams, money guides, tutorials, everything, all right? Now, there's a couple spots in the game where you not only have access to a gun locker to customize your weapon wheel, but you also have the ability to upgrade your weapons to Mark II variants. The agency is going to be one of them. You have a gun locker, so you can customize your weapon wheel, where you can hide and show certain weapons. You don't want all of them there, obviously. It's just too much to go through. But you can also go to the requisitions officer, and you can make upgrades. You can purchase or make upgrades to a lot of your weapons to the Mark II variants. This is also where you can customize with your weapon tints, your livery, all that good stuff as well and again a lot of these weapons can be upgraded to mark II variants uh, where you can you know customize the type of ammunition that you use and you can also just kind of customize the look of the weapons the MOC is another location where you not only have a gun locker to customize your weapon wheel but you also have a mark II weapons bay where you can make your upgrades to the weapons also that's very important so these two locations are probably some of my favorite to go because I have access to both but you've got your bunker, you've got your CEO office, you've got pretty much anywhere that you have a living quarters, your auto shop, you can have access to at the very least a gun locker. And don't forget, in your interaction menu via the inventory section, you can disable your weapon loadout and you'll have access to all the weapons that you own, alright? Now, I'm going to go over my weapon wheel loadout. I'm going to start at the top with the pistols, go over everything with you, all the upgrades I have, and kind of talk about why I use them, okay? Let's start first with the 50 cal pistol. With the 50 cal pistol, I have the suppressor, the extended clip, and the flashlights. I use this pistol a lot. I always recommend it. It's a great uh, pistol to use for the stealth missions in the game, whether it's a, during a heist or just regular contact missions. It's really good, and I find it very helpful, all right? Next, obviously, I use a flare gun. I keep the flare gun in my weapon wheel. I do this because not only is it just a fun uh, you know, weapon to have, you can set people on fire with it, but this is actually, it, you can utilize it to protect you against incoming rockets. It acts like a regular flare from a plane or a Mark II where it will deter rockets. Now, next, we have the AP pistol. I use the extended clip and the suppressor with this, again, for stealth missions. But the AP pistol is like a workhorse of the pistols. You could use this for everything in the game. It can be used inside vehicles. It takes a little bit longer to unlock than, say, like the SMG, but I do use this over the SMG more often than not. It's just a great pistol to have in your inventory. Next is the up and atomizer, probably one of the most important weapons in the game. It's good for just having some fun with your friends, for PvP if someone's going to run you over the vehicle. Uh, and also, as a money grinder, this thing has helped me get so many post-op trucks unstuck from like a bump in the ground. It really does help out. Definitely a must-have. Next up, we got the Combat MG, the Mark II variant. I use the grip, the muzzle brake, the heavy barrel, the extended clip, and the large scope on this guy. The Combat MG Mark II, another just workhorse weapon. I love the fact that it has 200 rounds in the magazine, so you can shoot a very, very long time uninterrupted. I use it a lot for when there's a lot of enemy NPCs around, or even in a PvP situation, it works very good. It hits hard and it's a very effective weapon to use. Now next up we've got the ARs, the carbines, your assault rifles, right? Now I use a combination of three different assault rifles in my weapon wheel loadout. And the main difference is the type of ammo, alright? Now I know you guys may use different carbines with different ammo, but really these carbines are very similar together. They're very, you know, swappable and you can kind of mix and match. First we got the special carbine Mark II. I got the grip, extended clip, flashlight, heavy barrel, and the holographic sight. This is the one that I use with standard ammo. As a matter of fact, today I swapped this one out for another one of my other carbines for the standard ammo. All right, again, you can swap these out. I know a lot of people use different carbines for different things, but I still feel you need three for the particular types of ammo. And let me explain. Next, I got the Bullpup Rifle Mark II. The grip, I use full metal jacket rounds, flashlight, heavy barrel, muzzle brake, and medium scope. 
I use one rifle with standard uh, ammo for NPCs. I use one rifle like the bullpup with the FMJ rounds. The FMJ rounds allow me to shoot through bulletproof glass. This is mainly for select um, NPC missions and for PvP play. If someone wants to roll up in a vehicle like a Buffalo STX of bulletproof glass, I can shoot through and score a kill. Now I also use a Carbine Mark II, small scope, heavy barrel, and I use the armor piercing rounds for this one with the grip and the suppressor. I use the armor piercing round ammunition with this rifle because it allows me to score a one-shot kill against enemy players with, that are wearing a bulletproof helmet. It negates their armor. Again, you can swap out those three different types of ammo with these three different types of ARs because these are the better types of ARs to use in the game, all right? Next up, we got the sniper rifles, and the first one is the Heavy Sniper Mark II. I got the heavy barrel, the thermal scope, which is definitely needed, the muzzle brake, and explosive rounds. Now, this is another one where you can swap out ammo. You don't have to have the explosive rounds with this one. I do like to have it. Uh, we all know that Rockstar sometimes deletes out your ammo with these guns. It's weird. But I do like having that uh, ability to have the explosive rounds. But a lot of times, I just swap back to the standard ammo. Now, to counter that rifle with the explosive rounds, I used the Marksman Rifle Mark II with the muzzle brake, extended clip, heavy barrel grip, and the zoom scope. A funny thing about this weapon is that you can put on a regular scope and you can auto-lock onto enemy players. So it's kind of like an AR or whatever, you can auto-lock onto them, and this guy hits really hard. But you want to have this guy if you are using a sniper rifle with the explosive rounds, that way you have something with a lighter touch that can still hit at distance. Next up, we got melee weapons. I only carry one melee weapon. Again, it's another very unique and very important weapon in this game. One of the most important weapons, in my opinion. That's the stone hatchet. This thing is gnarly. When you score a kill with a stone hatchet, it puts you into psycho mode, and you can absorb a insane amount of damage. You can you can absorb so many enemy NPC rounds. It works in free mode. It works in a tremendous amount of different types of missions. It really helps out for the money grind, and it's very fun to have. And you can also use it on a motorcycle, like you see right here, which is really cool. Definitely recommend having the stone hatchet. Next to the shotguns, I carry three. The first one will be the assault shotgun. I use the grip, extended clip, and the suppressor. Don't have to have the suppressor. I just like the way it sounds. I also carry the pump shotgun Mark II, mainly for the explosive rounds. It's good to have those, okay? But you don't have to have that in, in your inventory. I just have it for extra backup. The assault shotgun is another one of these most important weapons in the game. It is a workhorse. This thing will shred through so many NPCs and so many actual players. You can get multiple kills on multiple targets at once because of the actual pellet spread. This thing is dominant. I love this weapon. It is a must-have. you got to use it. Now, the third one is the sweeper shotgun. Most people don't even know this shotgun is in the game. I use this shotgun primarily for one reason. You can use the sweeper shotgun on a motorcycle, and it's like a mini assault shotgun. It is a fully automatic uh, shotgun that is devastating, and when you're on a motorcycle, you can score a lot of really easy kills uh, where aiming may be a little bit difficult, and this thing is just nasty, so I highly recommend it for being on a motorcycle. Next up, we got the heavy weapons. The first one is the railgun. I was worried that the railgun, when it came out, would be used as a griefer weapon. I got to give Rockstar credit where credit is due. They have balanced it out, and this has actually turned out to be quite a useful money grind tool. If you have a standard sniper rifle with non-explosive rounds, this can be your long-range explosive round uh, option for that. So it definitely helps out. Now, next, we've got the grenade launcher. Yes, I use the grenade launcher. I like to have a fully automatic option for explosive rounds. And the grenade launcher has good range. It comes in handy. It takes out vehicles. It's just good to have the extra firepower in your back pocket. Next up, obviously, the RPG, man. It's just a tried and true weapon. It's really good to get some quick explosive uh, firepower on targets. It reloads pretty quick as well. And again, in dealing with NPCs and actual real players, you can't go wrong with the RPG. You can score some really good kills with it. It definitely helps out. Next, yes, I'm one of the people I carry a minigun. You don't have to have it. I just like having the overwhelming firepower. Having uh, 9,999 rounds at your fingertips with no reloading at all, just no uninterrupted firing. You're just going with it. I love it. I also carry the Compact Grenade Launcher, another weapon that most people don't even realize is in the game. And I carry this for one reason. It's another weapon that you can use while on a motorcycle. 
So I now have explosive capability on a motorcycle uh, driving around freely. So I definitely recommend that. Now we're moving on to the throwables, and I keep a lot of the throwables in my weapon wheel. Uh, more than what I used to, I keep grenades, I use uh, sticky bombs as well, I use proximity mines. These are all useful for you know making money against NPCs. Uh, they're all useful against uh, actual players in the game. I got the pipe bomb, I use tear gas. Uh, tear gas is effective against NPCs, it helps out. It's definitely something to keep in mind. Molotovs, use that for you know payphone hits. Jerry can, I keep that as well for payphone hits and just having fun in the game also. Now you can probably get away with not having as many throwables in your weapon wheel as I do, uh, but I like to just have a few extra just in case. You can probably get away with using the grenades, the stickies, the proxies, the molotovs. You can use these to set up a corner in a defensive position and wait for an enemy NPC to roll up or a player and uh, you have an explosive option, then you can follow it up with some machine gun rounds or ARs. So, and again, the Molotovs, obviously, you can use those on a motorcycle as well. Those come in handy, again, for NPC missions and for against real players. Just good to have. And one thing that I'll, I get a lot of questions about, people will see me playing the game, and I'm shooting and throwing uh, throwables at the same time. They're like, Ty, how do you do that? It's real simple. As you are aiming down sight and shooting, whatever throwable that you have selected in your weapon wheel, you just tap the left arrow key and it will toss out a throwable. You saw me throwing the grenades uh, with a uh, stick. You can toss one and then you hit the left arrow key again and you will explode that sticky. So those definitely come in handy. It's a good tactic to use, so that's how you want to do that, all right? So there you have it. Again, let me know what you guys do with your weapon wheel loadout. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the Ills Reels content in the game. Smash that, smash that like button. See you in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.